What is up guys, it's Mike and Jimmy here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the secondary episode of my third run of the first gothic game, The Path of Belear. In this particular episode we're gonna go and complete all the new camp quests, all of them. So uh, without further ado guys, let's begin. It's gonna take me some, uh, you know, some time to actually get to the new camp. But uh, as soon as I'm there, I will start do the questing there, complete all the quests in one video, just like the old camp. If you're wondering which specific quests will be completed, make sure to uh, check the uh, description, which will also be the same description that will guide you with a certain game tag keys that allows you to quickly search these kind of things. And of course, at some point, you know, it will have a timestamp for you guys to enjoy, enjoy to your heart's content, you know. But um, for the time being, there will be no timestamps, even though the videos will be long. But uh, if you're looking for uh, specific things, like uh, specific quests, I check the description and it will uh, make sure, I'll make sure that the description will be saying which quests will be completed and which will not. Now, I do have one bugged quest from the old camp, which is the Vanished Guards. I, uh, as you can see, you know, Sly the Shadow has promised to speak for me. I gave him the amulet and it still isn't completed. I even told Fletcher that a neck was uh, feeding the rats, you know, but um, quest is not still not completed. I think because after I completed it with Sly, I talked with Fletcher about it, you know, and that reactivated the quest, if you will. But uh, that quest is still completed, nevertheless, you know. So uh, you will find all the old camp quests in the old camp episodes, all the new camp quests in this episode, and all the sect camp quests in the episode after, which will be episode 3. But, um... First I have to get to the new camp. Otherwise uh, the questing will be uh, quite d difficult to complete, don't you think? Alright, so let's see if I can handle these uh, blood flies. I suppose that I will, but uh, you know, you never know. And uh, if I could prevent deaths, yes please. Come on, beastie beastie. Nearly, not quite though. Hang on, better not go rushing into anything. Alright, so we have arrived at the new camp. Let the questing begin.
people are oh. very... Hey, just arrived? We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Now this is uh, some sort of a repeatable quest, but uh, you can do this once every day. I'm only gonna do it once though. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. F you, man. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. You're welcome, sir. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Trouble? Who with? A peasant? Just because I work in the fields doesn't mean I can't defend myself against guys like you. So come here if you want trouble. No sweat! You've won! Smartass. Lefty sent me. I have brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. I'm sorry I said what I did about the peasants. You should have thought of that before, boy. Really? Okay, well, a few then. So I messed up that quest. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. And in the desert, you cannot remember your name. But if you talk with a ratio, normally do not say about the peasants thing, you know. He doesn't like that, apparently. Oh, well. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. It didn't fail, so that's good. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. You are a very welcome, Mr. Peasant. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Good thing you don't have to, eh? Mud is not so tasty. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Come on, guys. Let's get some new catchphrases, eh? Lefty sent. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Short and clean. I like it. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks. Come on, guys. Use some new catchphrases than drinking mud. Hi. I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, I spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. 
My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. Amen to that, man. And that's how kings are. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. F the king. All the kings of every nation. F them all. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. That were the bottles of uh, Mithu, also known as water. Hey, you! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Sure, she left you. Otherwise, I have to send you back to the realm of belly you dumb cunt. Am I allowed to say that? Probably not. But, you know, gotta keep it a bit realistic. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. They said we shouldn't worry. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. Where's the ore mound? You want to see a real mound of ore, do you? There's a hole in the middle of the cave. They shove it all in there. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. What about the rest of the people? All crooks. They don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. Watch your back. And then it goes, oh, kaboom! No, not ready. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. He's just hungry, man. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. I see. All right, guys, let's send this lurker back to the realms of Adanos, because uh, you know, creatures of any kind, snappers, lurkers, shadow beasts, humans, orc, are all creation. By, by design of Adonis. At least, you know, according to the in-game lore. And then you have the undead beings who came directly from the realms of Balear. But I'm gonna shed this one back to Adonis. Goodbye. Wow, ready? Karma, guys. Karma. So if I don't kill him now with a um fireball one, then uh, I am 
F2. Jobs done. Alright, so let's complete that quest. It was a relatively easy quest. This particular area doesn't have that many quests. Um, but um, most of the quests that you have to complete is uh, like paying Laris 400 ore. Easy peasy, you know. Um, especially if you play it like I do. Stealing everything, uh, making the right decisions, like creating swords out of steel blanks sell them, trade them for ore, trade them for goods of any kind. And uh I'm sure Ian's list already done that one since it was uh, necessary to complete the old camp quest which is uh them hiccups which is the quest uh for no test of faith t yeah test of faith which you would get from uh, Diego, but um, that one has already been completed. So now I cannot talk with this guy, particularly Bal Kakan, because of the fact that he belongs to the sect camp. He doesn't belong to the new camp, so I will do him in the sect camp episode. Um, let's see. Let's deliver the ring to Laris. That's not really my problem. I've given the list to Diego. Good. I positioned some men on the path to the old mine. Thoris's guards are lying dead in the forest even as we speak. They've already mugged the convoy? Where's my share? Go to see Gorn. He'll give you something. Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. What else can I do? Bar Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. Some people... I have 400 all. Oh, well, so I have to talk, about talk with the bugger. Well, that was actually part of the sect camp quests. But it's gonna be like Ian's quest, you know, Ian's list. I have no choice but to talk with the bugger, get his wheat, and sell it. Shh! Hey, you! Who? Me? Exactly! Come over here! What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. What can you teach me? It depends. What do you want to know? None yet, but at least it has been notified in my journal slash diary. Um, Butch. What's up, man? I, I, I... Hi, who are you? It's none of your business. I don't like your mug. I don't like your mug either. Where can I get a bow here? You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. 
I don't need a bow, I need magic. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. Now, I get this book. You will need it. I get the... I think it were... Um, two grapes. So I'm just gonna purchase them all five just to make sure I have that because uh, for one of the specific quests at the um, the free mine, you know, the new camp mine, free mine, um, you will have to uh, get a quest to uh, deliver some food for the party, you know, and in return you will get a, a weapon that can defeat any foe. Which is not technically speaking, it's not a lie, you know, it is relatively true, but um, depends on how you look at it, you know. It is possible you, that you can kill any critter with it. Damn lurker class. I don't think it's quest related, but I'm gonna keep it just to be on the safe side. Um, don't I have swords? No, I don't. Oh, you can have the pickaxe. So I lose a bit. But, uh, you know, I'll get it back later. Thanks, man. Do you trade in any... Ah, Thanks, man. Peace. I'm stuck. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for you? You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power in a great magic rite to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford to spread our knowledge among our enemies. We will not even consider instructing you unless you prove your loyalty to us. I want to acquire magic writings. Ring of magic. Ring of power. Mm. My character do need strength above all else, and dexterity is also handy. Mana too, but I can get a permanent potion for that with the, um, you know, with the uh, magicians. I forgot to do that one. No, it doesn't matter. I will do it in admission. Don't need ice block. Don't need ice bolt. So all in all, 320. Step aside. Step aside. Step aside. No. 
I'm gonna stay here and annoy you. Do you want me to beat it into your brain? Get out of here! What? What is this problem? Threatening me with ice block. Like, really? Hey, a new face. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the Magicians. Why did you take part in one of the gang's raids? Who says I did? Why would you have so much of the stuff if it wasn't true? Don't you think that this is all from one hall? You take part in raids regularly? If I did, I couldn't tell you. Lee wouldn't like that one bit. I see. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the Magicians? Lee has made a deal with the Magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really. But he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. See you later. See you, man. All right, so let's see if I can kick Shrike's ass. How are things? Get lost! <laughs> The fight's been decided. That was a good hit! That was late commentary, my friend. I knocked him down before he could say so. Excuse me, pal. Are you okay? You won't have much time to be sorry for it. You looking for trouble with me again? Get lost. I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay! Empty. Lame. What do you want? You've no business in there. You want to fight? Huh? Get lost, man, before I kick your ass again. Shrike has moved to another hut. Good. Torloff just told me that he wanted to have a word with the guy. See you later. All right, so let's go to the free mine, as well as get the mastery of one-handed weaponry, which I will learn from court because uh, I'm here, you know. Oh, where is Gord? He's supposed to be around here. Gord? Where are you, man? <coughs> Just give me a second, guys. I have to search for my good friend, Gord. Me, good mate. L let me sleep some morning in my free hut. It's not really a hut, it's more like a house. But... It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. 
Now let's hope that my uh, buddy court is already training. He is a good man. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course. It'll cost you though. I want 30 ore. Teach me how to handle one-handed weapons more skillfully. Okay, you know the basics. Holding the weapon lower down will put more force into your first strike. Use the swing, remember? Now you need to use your body more. When you've struck twice, spin around. That'll confuse the opponent and put you in an excellent position. Then bring your blade across from right to left once more. And back to the front. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. So get going and become a real master of the art of one-handed fighting. Thank you, my friend. Muto better. All right, so let's go to the free mine and get myself a free quest. of breads I think I need about a hunk of cheese I need that uh, a couple of bottles of rice schnapps and some grapes I think I have all the stuff but I'm not entirely sure but there's only one way to find out and uh, even if you complete the quest he will not give you the so-called weapon you know that uh, can defeat any foe and uh, I'd be glad that he doesn't because it's a lame ass poker of 5 damage but it's true you know you could defeat a fo any foe with it if you're good enough if your own strength is good enough you can de defeat anyone with it even the troll <laughs> But uh, I will try to see if I can complete Loras's quest with 400 ore just by talking to the guy on the bar on the lake, you know, um, and ac not actually selling his stuff. <laughs> because uh, that is a kind of sect camp related. But uh, if there is no other way around it, then I have to do it just like with Ian's list, you know, showing it to Loris, even though it's a new camp quest, which we have to do in old camp quest, you know. Which uh, was the previous episode, the old camp quests. Well, it will be called old camp, but all the quests in there will be revealed, you know, will be shown. I'd better be g I Ah, a visitor. Don't make any trouble here, or else you'll be for it. I just want to have a look around, around here. I just want to have- Then mind you don't step on anybody's feet. I just want to go into the mine. I want to- I can hardly believe you'll manage that. But just speak to Okil. Goodbye. I need to go. Just go then. Hello, man. Yo, what's up? Hey, Swanee. Put that away, man. What a waste. Who are you? I'm the best mining engineer this damn colony has ever seen, my boy. I make sure half our boys don't go getting themselves killed by fallen rocks just because they're too stupid to scrape the right places. I'd like to join you as a scraper. Oh, yeah? Well, just don't think you're gonna get anything much out of it. There's three portions of rice a day. Any extra, you'll have to see to yourself. 
Do you know why we're doing this? We're doing this job so one day we can all walk out of here to freedom. Well, that means all the ores to be handed in. Then it goes on the big ore mound. And once a month, everybody who's been working here gets 50 ore to get stoned on. That's the most important things you ought to know. Do you at least have any experience on the job? No. Of course you don't. Why is it always me? Okay, listen carefully. You take this stuff and put it on. Here. If an ore nugget falls on your foot while you're not wearing your protective clothing, you'll be crippled for life and only worth half of what you were before to us. There'll be a pickaxe lying somewhere around here, but you won't be able to do much with it. Well, so what? How much ore have you collected so far? The mages say that we won't need much more. Go to the new camp and have a look at the mound. Well, at least I can use the armor to um, get some free access to the bar on the lake. However, I thought that if I would buy this uh, armor, you know, I would get it for uh, not get it at all. I didn't want to take Swiney's gear, but oh well. Poor mugger, now he has to walk around in his pyjamas. Hey, you, what's up? Hi. You're walking about here as if you were searching for something. Really? Hmm. Maybe you're right. Why? Great. Ask me. Maybe I can help you. What did you have in mind? What do you need? What about a good sword, thick armor, or access to the mine? Ah, oh, no. That's nothing. I can give you something that'll make your eyes pop out of their sockets. I can give you a weapon that will defeat any foe. You only need to do me a small favor, then it'll be yours. What do you say? What will I have to do for it? Very simple. Get me five apples, two bottles of rice snaps, five bottles of beer, three loaves of bread, two pieces of cheese, and two bunches of grapes, and we're in business. Believe me, you won't be sorry. As I just said, you'll really defeat any kind of enemy with it. Okay, I'll see what I can do then. Very good, but hurry up. Don't forget, five apples, two bottles of rice schnapps, five bottles of beer, three loaves of bread, two pieces of cheese, and the two bunches of grapes, okay? Of course. Now, I don't think I have the Ringu. I do. I couldn't get your stuff yet. What was it again? Okay. Five. All right. Let me, let me, let me save. Just, just to be safe, you know. I want to see if I can kick his ass. I have all the stuff on me. Now we'll do the deal with that super weapon, right? Then show me the stuff first. Here you go. Yeah, great. Well, give me the thing now. Forget it. What? Did you really think you'd get something for it? I mean, if you're stupid enough to believe that, you don't deserve any better. I'm amazed to see you're still alive. If you believe everything people say, you won't survive long here. Doesn't matter, though. Now we boys have enough food for a party. Thanks a lot. And maybe we'll meet you again. <laughs> Put... You've been lucky there. Hey, man, you can't do that to me. What more do you want? Piss off. Get on somebody else's nerves or you'll get it. Got it? You've been lucky there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to whack you one. We've had our fun. Now get lost, man. I believe you didn't understand me. Okay, then. You asked for it. You were warned. Nice Try fighting. Try that again and you're dead. Okay, he's strong. Holy shit. I have been here. Yeah, we'll think what did you? I'm a dozen. Doesn't matter, he will get his karma soon. I didn't know that uh, you could retalk to the bugger and try to kick his ass, but uh. Ooh, he surely kicked me. It was like, okay, here I come, motherfucker. <laughs> Done. Goodbye. Now, the reason why I reloaded was due to my ore. You know, don't want to lose my ore. <clears throat> I have lots. 
and uh, I still need about 400 for uh, Laris and about 200 for Ishidro and then I'll pour again you know all the hard work <clears throat> for nothing Okay, so that armor is that armor, only from the new camp. Intriguing. So mine is still better. Who are you? I'm Ockel. I'm the boss of the Hollow. I just wanted to have a glance into the mine. Oh, you just wanted to stroll into the mine. Suppose you don't have a clue what's going on here. Nobody sets a foot in the mine without my permission. Always remember, whoever goes into the mine or the gatehouse without my permission is a dead man. Will I be allowed to go in? I don't even know you. Why should I let you go into the mine? Now scram! I have things to see to. All right, relax, man. Relax. Damn it, smoke another one. We could surely use it. All right, so the area job is here done. Job's done. I will come back here later, you know, as soon as I have to go to the mine, to the Crawler Queen, and uh, I will try to kick his ass then. But, uh, you know, he uh, knocked me down with a single attack, so that was a bit surprising. But at least I tried, though, you know. Failed miserably, but still, hey, you gotta give me credit for trying, guys. But yeah, the arena is gonna be, uh, you know, how shall I say, interesting. Now, you know, this game has in-game days. If you want to see how many in-game days you have passed, just check under the player time, you know, playing time, and next to the uh, minus on the left side, which is the number of days. If it says 7, 14, 21, etc., you know, oh nearly knocks me light out but um if it says 7 14 21 28 etc then there will be festivals you know cur certain events um i first thought that it was connected to you know certain capabilities like going to the mine crawler queen nest um but i was uh, totally wrong it is actually connected to the in-game days so if you want to check the festival, uh, make sure to check on every seven days, once a week, there will be some sort of a event. Now I'm not quite sure if Steam blocked that or removed that from the game, but if they didn't, then uh, it would explain why I wasn't able to get it on either of my two runs, the run of Adenos or the run of Venus, and it will allow me to test on the path of a Beliard, this one. Old. So I'm kind of curious whether Steam has Let's it in the game or not. A lot of people on the forum says that, you know, in the Steam version of the game, you uh, actually do not have that particular event. But I think that people just misunderstood the potential because, like I said, for years I thought that if you go to the mine crawler's nest and walk out before you defeated the crawler queen you know you could see that event that was what happened with me a couple of years ago you know that is not the case it's all about the in-game days and where do you want to go why in there forget it silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar i'm a scraper and i'm thirsty 
You don't look like no you scraper. You, you won't get in here like that, boy. Maybe. I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You look like one of those filthy rats. Come on in. Thank you, man. People never Must be something about that. Peace. So the only thing that I have to do is talk with this bugger. And that should allow me to um, get and pay the 400 or Tolaris without doing this quest. One way to find out. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes, but I just can't be bothered. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. You know what, I will just do the quest just because it has connections to Loris, you know. Just like Ian's list um, with showing it to Loris, which is actually a new camp quest, but I had to complete it in the old camp quest due to the fact that I have to deliver the list to Thoris to complete the old camp quest, you know. Um, so the same reason with this, this one is connected to the sect camp, however People for the new camp I have to get his years. weed, sell it, either to merchants or to individual mercenaries, etc. Um, and give the 400 ore to Loris. So I have no other choice but to do this in this episode. Too bad. Here you go, have another drink on me. Thanks man, a drink to your health. Gumpai! Gumpai! Any more. You have to watch Think about it. Tell Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. No, man. I'll manage. Hang Same on. Better not go rushing into anything. Okay. I have to talk with Balkagan about him. Oh dear. That makes things a lot more complicated. Laris has a message for you. Tell me about it. He wants to know what's going on in the sect camp, and he wants you to find out. Maybe. I get the feeling this problem Maybe. will solve itself. Need to know it. Same old story. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. You shouldn't believe everything you now, if you're gonna say to this guy, you know, I want a drink, make sure to purchase you anything that you need. Here. Otherwise, you cannot repurchase certain things. So, just so you guys know. How are things? Great. Really we problem. trade our homemade rice snaps for ore. Well, the boys carry in enough ore. Ah, Where should they spend it, if not here? I want a drink. You'll have to pay for it. Hang on. I'm Better not go rushing into anything. But as you can see, this guy has junk. You're very probably Same right. old story every time. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. Well, there was a time when things would have gone That's not very really my differently. Problem. I'd better keep wouldn't out like of to it. be in his shoes, though. That won't happen again. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle, but don't tell Silas. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the rice lord's lap dogs leave me alone. What can you tell me about the rice lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Well, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the rice lord's head in, but uh, he'd never really do it. He had to go against his beliefs. Now, if you did get the quest, you know, from Horatio, which I didn't because I uh, fucked it up, basically, 
but if you did get that quest talk with this guy talk with him about you know the right sword he would tell you about ratio tell ratio that you want to kick the right sword and uh, his thugs his ass and then um, Horatio will give you five strength something like that I think um, which is free but uh, I fucked it up you know he doesn't care you know he's like you know pick that stuff I don't care Now if you want to have a good uh, supplier of ore of items, make sure to unlock Cypher. You will get him by uh, asking one of the uh, swamp, weed, swamp weed harvesters about to, you know, to tell you where you can sell some, uh, some swamp weed if you wanted to do that, you know, which I won't do. I will give it to Cork Cologne, but afterwards I can, every day I can get about 50 weeds, 50 weed plants, you know, something like that. But uh, let me first check if I can give the one to Lara's because otherwise I have to talk to Balkagan. Which is another sect, que uh, sect camp quest. Yeah, I really have to do that, god damn it. But I will not get his quest to share the weed because that's actually for the uh, sect camp. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Bal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can hardly deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his weed for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. Alright, so that should be enough to uh, convince my good friend Bal Isidro that uh, he's having gonna have some problems, you know, and then uh, he will agree that I sell the weed, give him 200 ore. People are always very clever. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll. No, man. You shouldn't have thought that thing. Aww. I have to distribute the weed too? Really? Ah, come on, man. That's just lame. That's two sec game quests. Goodbye. That. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more. Which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your task now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. Oh. So that must have been the key word then. Please! Because I don't want to do that sect camp quest. I prefer to have it, you know, in, in into the sect camp quests episode. It's better. You know, same with the wheat. I will get the wheat, but I will not pay him yet, and I will not sell the ore yet. Let's I will just something else instead. Pay the ore in advance to Loris, you know, just to get well, the quest done. I'll tell you something, you have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. 
That's not really Think about problem. it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who'll take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. I thought that had been... So... That should be it then. Let's enjoy the moment. Oh, already smoked this one. Okay. Wow, 5 XP, guys. Woo! Nearly level up. Even a meat bug gets more. Now that is good mana is always good. Alright, so let's see if I can give a 400 of my well earned ore to Lara's in advance. I think I will be able yeah, to do so. Well. Done it a couple of times already if I'm correctly, but one way to find out. Rely on somebody in your hey man, your bottle of wine or whatever is booked. You everything you hear. I have the 400 ore. Good. Very good. I believe that should be sufficient now. Now if you say right now is that enough, you will instantly join them. So I'm not going to do that. Because of course I am going to be a member of the old camp. Let's sell the remaining wheat, Let's talk about something. so I can get at least my ore back. Hey, how's it going? Do you want to buy something? I need a few things. Some people never learn. Some people never learn. But keep it to yourself, You're people don't need to know it. Right. You're very probably right. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes though. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. As long as I'm not Hang involved. on, better not go rushing into anything. Some people never. Hang learn. on, better not Same go rushing story. into anything. Every but keep time. it to yourself. People don't need to know it. Lockpicks is wrong never wrong. Is it wrong to be strong? You be the judge. Well, there was a time when th it was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. Same old story every time. Some people never learn. All right, so that one is done. That won't happen again. All right, Homer. Kicking le lefty's ass. I'm not quite sure if I'm capable of doing that. But there's only one way to find out, you know. And uh, then we're pretty much done here. Yeah. Pretty much. I'd kill the beast. Great. I got some of the Rice Lord's men to help me fix some of the damage it's caused. Now I can finally get some sleep. Good to night, though. All right, guys. The moment of truth. Can I kick Lefty's ass? Probably not. But uh, the problem is more that the Rice Lord will also intervene. And uh, that makes things a bit more challenging. That's how it goes. Hang on. So I'm gonna drop me ore on the floor. Safe, just in case he steals my weapon. Moment of truth. Hey you! I told you to take some water to the peasants. I don't like people who make promises and then don't keep them. Promise Put the weapon ball. away! Put it away! I'm blocking them. It was a good fight! I'm used to Gothic 2 guys. I thought, you know, as long as I'm walking backwards, he can't damage uh, damage me, which means that the Rice Lord won't attack me, but... And nope, and that is not the case. So, okay, I already know that one too. In Gothic 2, you know, that is the case. He's had enough.
thanks for the weapon, you hero. And let's see if the Rice Lords want a piece or two. You want a piece? Hmm? No? You don't want a piece? Good. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. You've given me a fair thrashing, man. Twas a good fight, but now it's over. A good fight. You didn't leave and you didn't even damage me, man. It was not a good fight. It was a boring one. How are you, my friend? Oh man, what do you want? The peasants look thirsty. I'll see to it. Don't worry. Don't you dare letting other people do your effing work, okay? Otherwise I will kick your ass. Uh, let's see if I can uh, sweeten things up with Horatio. Probably not, but uh, it's worth a try. I'm sorry I said what I did about the peasants. You should have thought of that before, boy. Nope, I really fucked it up. QQ, guys. Five strength missed, but oh well. But, uh, is that pretty much everything in here? The Wheat Merchant, Sacked Camp, Admission to the New Camp, then I will join instantly, so I can't do that one. Admission to the Sacked Camp, New Souls for the Brotherhood, Vanquish God, Vanished God is Old Camp slash Boat, and Admission to the Old Camp is when I talk to Gomez, so, um, I'm pretty much done. Oh, good. Oh, goody -de goody So let me walk to the entrance of the new camp and end this episode guys so i want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see thumbs it up thumbs it down you're well, very proud of if you like what you see thumbs it up if you don't like what you see thumbs it down and uh, uh feel free to leave positive comments behind well, possible so uh, positive feedback That's negative feedback done. of any kind whatever can help I'm my channel in the long run anymore. maybe and uh, I hope to see you guys in episode 3 when we're gonna it's complete the sect camp quests. All of them, including those right here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in episode 3. So, good day to you guys, and I hope to see you next time.